Welcome to Art History with Jackie. This week, we will be talking about the late Christo, who passed away on May 31st, 2020, at the age of 84. Christo worked in partnership with his wife, Jean-Claude. The pair were known for their large-scale, site-specific installations that often made an environmental comment. Their work is known for its impressive and controversial nature. Christo and Jean-Claude were born on the same day, June 13th, one in Bulgaria and the other in Morocco. They met and got married in Paris in the late 1950s. Though they originally worked under only Christo's name, nowadays all of their works are credited to both of them. Christo showed an interest in art from a young age. He received private art instruction with the support of his parents, who often surrounded themselves with visiting artists. He was evacuated from the city during World War II and spent time in the countryside, where he connected with nature and craft. Throughout the mid-1950s, Western art was suppressed under totalitarian rule, and Christo worked in realistic painting. He studied at the Sophia Academy of Fine Arts, but soon quit because he found it stifling to his creative mind. Instead, he was influenced by Russian artists who were active in the Soviet avant-garde. As a student, he was sent to paint propaganda works for the Bulgarian government at the time. As fears of Russian suppression began to take over his community, he decided to flee to Vienna, Austria, as a stowaway on a train. In Vienna, he studied at the Fine Arts Academy and sought political asylum. A trip to Switzerland, in which he visited the Kunstmuseum Basel and the Kunsthaus Zurich, inspired Christo to begin working in the fashion for which he became famous. He began to wrap things as part of his process, starting with a small paint can. Christo and his wife Jean-Claude had their first show in Cologne, Germany in 1961. This show was an introduction to the three types of artworks for which they would be known, wrapped items, oil barrels, and ephemeral large-scale works. The partners would conceive of the work together and then have assistance to do the work of wrapping whatever object they needed. When the couple moved to New York, Christo began to make storefronts, a four-year-long project in which he made wooden facades that resembled shop windows. One of Christo's most notable works was Wrapped Coast, in which they and 100 volunteers wrapped the coast of Sydney's Little Bay. This was the first piece for Caldor Public Art Projects. You may have seen images of Valley Curtain, in which Christo hung an orange fabric curtain across Colorado State Highway. The fabric was raised in 1972. The work only stood for 28 hours before it was destroyed by the wind. It was Christo's most expensive work to date. In the 80s, Christo and Jean-Claude embarked on a project to surround 11 islands in Miami's Biscayne Bay with pink polypropylene floating fabric. This project was on display for two weeks. In 1985, the couple wrapped the Pont Neuf, a bridge in Paris. The project attracted 3 million visitors. These works allowed Christo to transform a sculptural dimension or architectural project into a work of art. Also in 1985, Christo and Jean-Claude began their creation of Over the River. They planned to build an immense fabric work over the Arkansas River in the U.S. They spent more than $6 million of their own money on environmental studies, engineering, and fabric testing. The U.S. Bureau of Land Management was wary of the project, but willing to work with mitigation. When Donald Trump was elected president, however, Christo canceled the project in protest of the new administration. Christo died before his last project was able to be realized. He was planning on wrapping the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. This project will be completed and unveiled on October 3rd, 2021. Christo and Jean-Claude financed all of their projects through the sale of preparatory sketches, collages, models, and early works. These pieces remain part of many major public collections. In response to his critics, Christo has said, I am an artist and I have to have courage. Do you know that I don't have any artworks that exist? They all go away when they are finished. I think it takes much greater courage to create things to be gone than to create things that will remain. Even though his works are temporary, Christo's legacy is permanent.